Hey guys, Davis here. Welcome back to Tech Junkie. In this video, I'll show you how to log in as AD user via LWS. So, first of all, we have to create some groups and user in our Active Directory. Let's go to our domain controller. Um, let's see. Uh, let's create a let admins group. Let admins. Okay, and then let's create a user called pef admin. Pef admin. We will use this user to lock in the PF sense, and then we add PF admin to the group let admins. Okay, that's it for the um, active directory part. Let's go to the PF sense. Okay, it's un um, there's two things we need to done here. We need to add a group, uh, which is let admins. Uh, that should match our group that created in the active directory. And the second one is actually adding the app server. Yep, let's create the group first. So user manager groups and add root name let admins is a remote group so it's okay save and then we have to add privilege to this group click on this one web cfg or pages save okay is here save and then we go to the authentication servers click on add descriptive name simple app LDAP type LDAP um, let's use the DCO one first pop value transport we are using the um, LWS, so SSL TLS encrypted. The CA, uh, you must choose the uh, CA signing the uh, LWS ser server cert. So um, it is the simple lab sub CA, uh, which is covered in our previous video. In case you forget, I will show you after the the setup. Okay, search scope entire subtree base DN. Actually, we can choose the we can grab the DN from here. Oh, wait, let me show you the trick. Uh, in the active directory user and computers you have to click on view advance the features and then you can right click on the object um, like this OU and properties there will be a attribute editor tab click on that just type uh, distinguish yep get to here and copy that. Get back to the PF sense. Base DN. This OU because our user is in this OU containers, authentication containers. All those also this OU. By anonymously no, we have our uh, LDAP binding service account. So, once again, right-click properties, attribute editor, 
distinguished name copy that paste it here and input the password for this user wait so in the initial template uh, we should choose the Microsoft AD okay looks good save one th one more thing uh, when I'm choosing the domain uh, the host name using the um, DNS name not IP address because you know the LWS require you the uh, host name matching the uh, subject name or subject alternative name of the certificate so we have to use the DNS that means we have to we need our PFSEN able to resolve the DNS so uh, go back to the system and general setup in the DNS server uh, just um, type in the DNS server we, we use in our in my case I point to the primary size domain controllers and in the DNS web solution behavior I choose the use remote DNS server ignore local DNS because um, in my experience other two uh, got some weird behavior okay save It's loading, okay. Get back to the main page. So let's let's try. Oops. Um let's go to the diagnostics authentication and choose the simple lab LDAP let's see our PF admin um, okay we can authenticate and it uh, correctly um, recognize the uh, groups for this user so we can get back here use manager in the settings we can choose the um, simple lab dash LDAP as the authentication server. Uh, one thing to uh, know is that even uh, we try to supply the the user account to log into PFSense. If if the account fail to log into this authentication server, it will also try on the local database. So um, at last. Uh, you still have the local user to log in to the PFSense. Yep, that's it. Save. Log off. PF admin. That's good. So, as you can see, the PF admin at this one, uh, because the, the workstation is. 10.10.1.9 but um, it's showing the authentication server is the simple lab dash LDAP the protocol is LDAP yep. so in the next video I will talk about the uh, uh, x-ray proxy and use x-ray proxy to um, create a highly available LDAP as serv service for the PFSense so stay tuned